Yes, my name is Bench and welcome back to our Star Made Logic Masterclass. In the last episode we covered all things activation modules and spoke about how logic is based off swapping between two different states. In this episode we're looking at the NOT block, the OR block and the AND block and these three are what we refer to as logic gates. So why do we call them logic gates? Well, each of these three blocks has a certain way it interprets the inputs it receives and that influences whether it will output on or off. You can consider the inputs as questions and answering them correctly lets you pass through the gate through to the other side. So that's the basic idea behind the name. So let's go through each of these blocks starting with the NOT gate. The NOT gate acts like a small bratty child in the sense that whatever they were last told to do they always do exactly the opposite. In this case the NOT gate works sort of like our activation module always responding to the last state it was sent only instead of mirroring it it will output the exact opposite. You can see this here, as we change the activation module, the NOT gate that it is connected to changes to the opposite state. Using an activation module and NOT gate in this combination is a simple way to make two different lights that toggle between each other. When the activation module is active, one light can go on, and when you toggle again, the NOT gate is the one that becomes active, and the other light goes on, and the first light goes off. The NOT gate is very useful, used in tandem with other logic blocks and most logic circuits you won't be able to create without using the NOT gate. So that's a NOT gate. Now time for the OR gate. The OR gate is like a hospitable homeowner with an open door policy. It doesn't matter who comes knocking at the door or at what, what time, that will let them in with open arms. In the same way the OR gate can have a lot of inputs going into it and all it will take is for one of them to be active for the OR gate to then output that it's active. And if they are all inactive then the OR gate becomes inactive as well. The OR gate is used a lot when you want multiple inputs to have the influence over the same circuits. Our third logic gate is the AND gate. The AND gate is like a game of bingo where all the winning numbers are inputs. You have to have all the inputs active in order to win or output an ON signal. If just one of the inputs is off then it will output OFF and it doesn't matter which of these inputs it is. AND gates are great for creating conditions. If we say Fred needs fuel and his keys to drive his car then we have two conditions for Fred to be able to drive his car. They are that he needs fuel and he needs his keys. These two could then be the two inputs into our AND gate and if he has both then he can drive his car and the AND gate is now active because we've fulfilled those two conditions. So that's how the AND gate can be applied to logic circuits. There's our three logic gates, the NOT gate, the OR gate and the AND gate and in different combinations we can make all kinds of advanced logic circuits. In the next episode, we'll look at the delay block and how we can use it with different logic blocks to start making some simple circuits. Remember to subscribe for more of this masterclass and other gaming videos, and I'll see you next time.